Hi, I'm Tom McCormick. We're standing here in Southern California uh, where we've created a swale to catch runoff water from a pasture before it gets its way into local tributaries and streams. What you see in back of me are a series of three small rock dams. Each one of those dams contains a wattle, and a wattle is a, a roll, essentially, of natural materials. In this case, the, mater the wattles are made out of straw and core. Uh, those are held together with natural fibers, so they'll totally bio, they're totally biodegradable. For these particular wattles, we're using black owl biochar. And we're using the, the brand, we're using Ultra, uh, is the type of biochar that we're using today. The reason we're using this, Ultra has a particular affinity for nitrogen. So it's really going to pick up the nitrogen as it runs off the fields from where all the uh, horse manure is uh, laying right now. Again, we're in the dry season right now, but we're, when it does rain, it can rain quite heavily in this region with very high erosion rates, a lot of water running off. And so the uh, idea is that the rock dams help slow the water, slow the sediment, the uh, biochar inside of the wattles will be picking up the nitrogen before it gets a chance to go into the natural watershed. So this, is, uh, this project is now complete in, t in the sense of the, the hard uh, structure of it. Uh, we'll, we will be doing planting when raining season starts. Uh, and again, we expect that biochar is going to be helping the plants grow also. We've had good experience using biochar in the wattles and other situations. And we've planted on either side of these biochar filled wattles and had very good experience. The plants quickly grow, uh, they reach into the, the char in the wattle, uh, get the nutrients and water that they need, and they help stabilize the entire area.